The significance of bread to the welfare and progress of mankind has also been expressed in various religions. Over the centuries, bread was the most significant gift that man could offer to the divine element, and the offer of food to a deity is a custom with ancient origins. We know through literature that the ancient Greeks offered bread to the goddess Demeter during the Thesmophoria celebration. There are also references to bread being offered to Dionysus during the major Dionysian festival and to Asclepius. In ancient Rome, both families of the newlyweds ate bread together during the wedding ceremony. During the wedding ceremony, the Greek Macedonians cut freshly baked bread in half and gave one piece to the newlyweds as a blessing for the ceremony. The same custom also occurred during the wedding of Alexander the Great and Roxanne. In the Jewish religion, during the celebration of the Sabbath, Saturday, the holy day in the week, the dominant element on the table is the challah, the blessed bread. Bread is of great significance to the Christian religion. There are many references to bread in both the Old and the New Testaments. There is the manna from heaven that God sent to Moses, the miracle with the five loaves in the wilderness. However, the utmost importance to bread was given by Jesus Christ when he likened himself to bread and said to his disciples, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not be hungry. Jesus blessed the bread during the Last Supper. He cut it into pieces and said, Take, eat, this is my body. He then blessed the wine and gave his cup to everyone and said, Drink from it, this is my blood. And thus the use of wine and bread was established during the sacrament of Holy Communion which is the most significant sacrament in the Christian faith. In order to prepare for the Divine Eucharist, Orthodox Christians use the prosphoron, while the Roman Catholic Church, on the other hand, use the ostia, very small round wafers that are offered together with Holy Communion to the faithful. Artoclasia is a sanctifying act that blesses the fruits of the earth, wheat, wine, and oil in commemoration of the miracle with the multiplication of the loaves. By offering artos, the faithful receive the blessing of the church that prays for God for a rich harvest. During this ceremony, the liturgical tradition wants the faithful to remember that bread is the blessing of God to humanity and the key ingredient in the human diet. The prosphoro is the loaf of bread that is offered by the faithful to the church in order to perform the Holy Eucharist. There is nothing more sacred in the consciousness of people as bread, not only because it is fermented with labor and is a staple foodstuff, but also because it transubstantiates the grace of God in the body of Christ during the liturgy. Extending this holy feeling the faithful is attributing honor and respect in his daily bread. The association of bread with Jesus Christ comes from his own statement, take, eat, for this is my body. Initially, before the bread is baked, it is stamped with a square-shaped bread seal and a relief symbol of Jesus Christ is imprinted upon the loaf of bread, which is known as the amnos, lamb. This seal, during the period prior to the fall of Constantinople, had a square shape and was significantly smaller. The round shape was established during the period of the Turkish occupation, which symbolizes the womb of the Virgin Mary, from where her only begotten son was born. This seal, in addition to the square design of the Amnos that is now in the center, also contains the portion of the Virgin Mary, the portions for the angels and the saints, while above the Amnos is the section for the commemoration of the living, and below 
is the section for the commemoration of the deceased. During the offertory ceremony, these are the pieces that are used to prepare the Holy Communion. The remaining sections of the Prospero are distributed amongst the faithful at the end of the Divine Liturgy, following the Holy Communion, and are known as Andidor, in place of the gift.